Huamachuco. Huamachuco is just under 11,000 feet in the northern Andes Mountains of Peru. And it, it really is a town out of 50, 100 years ago. The people we're seeing, I would say, are, are as poor as it comes. Some of these people have never even seen a physician before. To give you an example, we had a young woman who had five kids and had never been to an, a, a hospital to deliver any of her kids. They were all delivered at her home and never have had a gynecological exam. And you see that we have kids that come in and have never even seen a doctor that are 12, 13, 14 years old. Um, we have elderly people that are 90 years old and what we can make out from translating and have never seen a formal physician. These are people that when you see them look 20 years older than they are, that, that are worn down, that are ragged, that are working 14 hour days. That's the sun up, the sun down. And that's what they have to do to survive. Here to just take care of people. That's, that's your mother, that's your grandmother, that's your little sister. I grew up in a family of uh, physicians. And uh, my grandfather, my uncle, and my other uncle, my mom uh, ran my grandfather's office for 23 years. I was attracted to it. It's, uh, it's one of the things that is living and breathing. Uh, every patient's different. Every time you walk in the room, there's, it's a mystery. And I always like that part of it. Medicine is not more glamorous than anything else anyone else does. It's, we're here to serve the patients and the people and, and, and do a job. And if you forget that, you, you, really, you, you really miss the, the ball and everything they were teaching us. Check the fibular hat up here. It still feels about the anterior end line. Well, you know, some of it's swelling too. This is the kind of crew that, that's there that says, okay, we'd be here at 7 a.m. to start clinic. All right, we'll be there, so we'll be there at 6.50. Okay, you want us to work after five? All right, well, now you're saying after six? Okay, we'll bear down, we'll get it done. And, and that's, that's, that's what it is, and that's the students across uh, MSU Com and MSU as a whole. But uh, especially on this trip, they were there to work. Dolor? Si, Dolor. We do not have uh, fancy tools or machinery, uh, CT scanners and x-ray machines and lab tests. And, and that, that can be difficult sometimes uh, because of being the student, that's what we learn about. Let's get a CT, let's get, uh, let's get some labs on them. Let's find out what their thyroid levels are. And working with the older docs, and that's, that's the best part is when they go, we didn't have these things. You really have to rely on your clinical skills. This is this sign, this is this test. Put your hands on the patient, feel their, feel their thyroid. Does it feel enlarged? Is it tender? Put your hand down. Do you feel that their liver is enlarged? Is their spleen enlarged? What are you feeling? Look at their look at their arms. If you don't have a nerve conduction test, does it look like they're atrophying? Does it look like their muscles are decreasing in size? And uh, that's a vital experience that I didn't pay much attention to before I started going to medical missions, to be completely honest. And now going to the medical mission, especially in the clinic, I find myself looking more at the patient as a whole, looking down, going, I don't just need to order a test. I can also put my hands on the patient. This year we saw over a thousand patients, 1,006 patients seen. So and we, we were extremely happy with that. With uh, five days of, of seeing patients with people getting sick as they do on these missions, uh, we had two days where we lost physicians, which was, uh, which was a real blow. Um, but you, we, are, we are in a third world country, 11,000 feet in the Andes Mountains. People do get sick but we were still able to see over a thousand patients and, and that's a great mission in my book.